Adult Heart Failure Disease Management, Uncomplicated, Outcome Documentation. What is Adult Heart Failure Disease Management, Uncomplicated, Outcome Documentation? This module will cover how to use ECW to document the note for a patient who has a diagnosis of heart failure. We will cover the required documentation in HPI, Diagnostic Imaging, Problem List, and Providing Patient Education. Okay, let's start with HPI. What am I required to do if my patient has a diagnosis of heart failure? In HPI, you will record the patient's heart failure status using the NYHA and LVEF fields at each visit. Let me demonstrate. From your progress note, click on HPI. Under the total health category, select 3.0 heart failure uncomplicated. Click in the notes field next to NYHA. Using the drop down in the value field, select the best response for the functional classification. Then close your window to see the response on the progress note. All right, so you said I need to add a diagnosis to the problem list. Can you show me how to do that? Of course, you can either open the assessment window from the progress note. In the search field, type heart failure. Select the appropriate ICD code from the list, and now check the box under PL next to heart failure. The code is now added to the patient's problem list. You can also add the diagnosis to the problem list by clicking on the orange ellipsis button next to the problem list on the right chart panel. Click the add button and search for heart failure. needs to be documented in diagnostic imaging. You will need to review the patient's DI history and locate a previous order for an echo study. You will then update the results with the appropriate LVEF response. Well, what if I've already reviewed the echo and locked it, or if I only have the order on paper and not in ECW? Let me show you what to do. If you have an unreviewed echo order in ECW, you will simply open the order Use the drop-down next to the results and select the appropriate LVEF response. Check the results received and mark the order reviewed. If the order has been locked or was never entered into ECW, you will order a new echo using the DI button at the top of the progress note. Click the new button. Select the DI name. Change the order date. Then enter the results in the drop down. Check the results received button and mark the order reviewed. Click OK. Will patient education be provided to hand out to those with heart failure? Yes, the education will be available within the adult heart failure uncomplicated order set. From the treatment window, click on the red OS icon. Use the drop-down to select CA Adult HF Uncomplicated. Scroll to the lower right-hand corner of the order set where you will find a list of patient education options. Click on the box next to your selection and click the order button. This will put a statement on the progress note that you provided this education to the patient. Now click on the red and white PDF icon to open the education. Note that the printing education from the order set will facilitate credit for meaningful use.
HR support. How can I help you? Hi, I've completed the education on adult heart failure uncomplicated, and I have a few questions. First, is there anything that my clinical staff should document? Yes, your clinical staff should continue to document the vital signs data, current medications, and the smoking status for each patient. Okay, also, this is for adult heart failure. Is there a specific age group, time frame, or other desired outcomes I should be aware of? For instance, the LVEF assessment? There are five desired outcomes for adult heart failure uncomplicated. The first is that patients 18 years and older with a diagnosis of heart failure have a quantitative result of a recent or prior LVEF assessment documented within the reporting period. The second is that patients 18 years and older with a current or prior LVEF less than 40% are prescribed an ACE inhibitor or ARB therapy within a 12-month period when seen in the outpatient setting. The third is patients 18 years or older with a current or prior LVEF less than 40% are prescribed a beta blocker therapy within a 12-month period when seen in the outpatient setting. The fourth is patients 18 years and older are screened for tobacco use one or more times within 24 months and receive smoking cessation counseling intervention if identified as a tobacco user. The fifth is that patients 18 years and older with a diagnosis of heart failure have reduced hospital admissions and readmissions. On a few of the desired outcomes, you mentioned medications. Is there a required or preferred list of medications to use? Yes. Here's a list of preferred ACE inhibitors, ARBs, and beta blockers. You can also find this list in the provided written materials. Thank you. I think that covers all of my questions. I'll call back if I think of anything else. For questions regarding the information shown, contact the EHR support team via bridge access on GHSNet.